Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Hope you're having a great day. As you can see here, I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm trying to get mailed out. We had a live stream last night. It was just kind of a hangout and chat. We had a bunch of free giveaways, so that's what we got going on here. Just getting ready to uh, put these in envelopes and send them out. And then, I think I'm gonna do, I've only got two boxes here. I have another third box in the other room. Um, but we're gonna get into some half dollars. Hopefully we can produce some silver out of those. And uh, if not, we've always got some backup dimes over here to do. So anyway, we're gonna get these uh, packages shipped out and then we're gonna do a little coin roll hunting. We got all of these ready to go. So now we're gonna head to the post office, get these mailed off. Oh. Keys, where are my keys? All right, we got all those packages mailed off. I'm gonna head home and grab some lunch and then we are going to do a half dollar hunt. So stay tuned for that. All right, as promised, here is a box of half dollars. We're gonna get into this looking for silver and proofs, foreign coins, obvious errors, things like that. Hopefully we can find something. It's been a while. Stay tuned for the first find. All right, we are two rolls into the box and we have a first find. We've got a 2003 Philadelphia NIFC. So we're on the board. 11th roll in the box and we have our next find. We got another NIFC. This time it's a 2007 Denver. This one's in really nice condition. Spotted that one by the edge, nice and shiny. So that makes two. All right, very next roll, roll number 12. We got our next find. This time we have a nice toned, rainbow toned coin here. You know me and my toned coins. I got an album for these, so I'll be happy to give this guy a home here. So, all right, couple NIFCs, nice toned coin. Let's get back to it. All right, roll 43 in the box and we have our next find, not in the greatest of condition, it's got some staining on the top there, but another NIFC, a 2006 Philadelphia. Back looks pretty nice there. So that makes three out of this box. Not a whole lot of finds, but we've still got seven rolls to go, so maybe we'll find something. All right, <clears throat> as you can see, our box filled back up again. Uh, we got through that first box. And uh, just a few finds in there, three NIFCs and a toned coin here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and open up that second box. Hopefully we can have a little bit better luck in this one. Uh, so let's get into it. All right, well, 31 rolls into box number two and we don't have much to show for it. This is the first thing here that we found. We got another toner, 1980. There we go. Get that light to reflect off there, 80D. All right, so we'll hold on to that one. And hopefully we can squeak something out of these uh, last 19 rolls here. We got three rolls left in the box and we found a 2009 Denver NIFC. This box has been slim pickings. I think we got uh, one NIFC and that one toned coin there, so three rolls left. Let's see if we can just get three rolls full of silver. Well guys, this is normally where we would do a final wrap up. I didn't find three full rolls of silver. As you can see, I don't have any coins here in front of me. 
Um, we did find a few things in those boxes, but it really wasn't that exciting of a hunt for me. And I honestly wasn't planning on posting this video. That's why I'm not doing a, uh, a traditional wrap up here. Um, but uh, I decided to go ahead and post a video anyway. Um, you know, one thing to keep in mind, if you're just starting out coin roll hunting or if you're thinking about getting into it, um, it is a really exciting and fun thing to do. You can find some really cool stuff, silver, uh, foreign coins, collectibles, old stuff. Um, but uh, you know, when you're watching your favorite uh, YouTube channels and you see them just uh, going through these boxes and they're finding all sorts of stuff, uh, the reality of it is, is that that's not typically uh, how a, a coin roll hunt uh, goes. Um, you know, you're only seeing the videos that they post or the things that they find, but what you're not seeing is you know the rolls, the boxes, the thousands of dollars worth of coins that are getting searched on a, a weekly basis where we're not finding anything. Um, you know, if you don't find anything, there's nothing to post. So I decided that was the reason why I decided to go ahead and post this video anyway, uh, just to kind of show you what coin roll hunting is like sometimes. So with this video, I wasn't all that excited about it. We did find a few NIFCs. We found a couple of tone coins and those did go in my album. So that was pretty cool. Uh, but other than that, I, I wasn't really all that excited about it. Uh, some people like finding those things and, and uh, this type of video uh, may have been just fine uh, for some of those people. But uh, for me, I wasn't all that excited, but I figured I would go ahead and post the video anyway. Um, to redeem this video, I thought maybe we would do something a little special at the end here just to kind of uh, end things on a little bit uh, better note. I have packages and boxes, I've said this a bunch of times, of silver that I have ordered from places like GM Bullion, Provident, Atmex, uh, um, Monument Metals. Um, so I'm gonna grab this, but actually here, I'm gonna take you over here with me. Check this out, guys. Look at this box. This is just full of packages here. I mean, I don't even, I don't even know how many are in here. But these, uh, some of these are from months ago, two, three. I, there might, maybe even four months ago. I don't know. Um, I don't even know how many's in here. But here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna pull. Um, let's just grab two of these at random. Let's grab this one here. Uh, I don't remember what's in these. Let's do these two right here. I'm gonna get set up, we're gonna open these together and we're all gonna be surprised, so stay tuned. All right, so here we are. I went ahead and I opened up the uh, tops, but I haven't looked inside of them. I honestly don't even remember who they're from because I've already scribbled out all the uh, information on there, but uh, let's start with this one here. Okay, this one was Modern Coin Mart. And it looks like we cut the bottom of the uh, brochure off there. Let's see what we got. Modern Coin Mart, hmm. Okay, so this is there we go. So this was a special that they were running. This is the Apollo 11. Wow, this is really cool. 2019 Australian coin. This is the Apollo 11 moon landing commemorative coin in a capsule. And I believe they were uh, they were running a special um, where you could order the coin, uh, just the, the coin, and they would give you free shipping. Um, so that was, which is very uncommon. You, usually most places you have to order like at least $99 worth of uh, uh, stuff to, um, to get free shipping, but uh, they were running a free shipping special on that. So that was cool. So if you haven't seen one of these, That is pretty, pretty awesome. I probably wouldn't have ordered this uh, typically just on the own. I'm not real huge into actually like collecting, but the, um, you know, getting that with free shipping, uh, that was enough to uh, pique my curiosity. So that'll be a neat addition to the stack there. Again, that was from Modern Coin Mart. All right. And I don't typically order stuff from them, but, uh, that time I did. 
this one here. Let's see. Oh, I already opened it up. At Max. Okay, so this one's from At Max. Well, I won't even look at that. We'll just pull it out. It's a tube of something. One ounce silver buffaloes is what it looks like we got going on here. So we got a full tube. Try not to slice my thumb off there. That would not be good. I'll open it up. I need to work out or something. Cool. All right. Let me get my cotton gloves on here. I know they're just buffaloes. They're just generic silver, but I just don't like my, especially the ones that have like the proof like fields on them, which a lot of the generic silvers do. Oh, sunshine minting. Okay. Yeah, they got these proof like fields. I just don't like touch them. I usually hold on to them by the edges anyway, but uh, all right, sweet. So it looks like we got a full tube of these. Let me just go ahead and pull all these out. It's always a lot more fun when you just... How's that sound? Alrighty. So we got 20 of those. All right, and that Apollo 11 moon landing there. That was pretty cool. All right, so we did get some silver into this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully the next one will be a little more eventful. Until then, we'll see you.